Hey everybody, it's Amy, your independent Sunsy consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I'm back today because both my club orders came in. So as you guys saw in my club, like massive club edit video that I did, um, I did cut a lot of things out of my club and I added some things, but I did want to, I was originally gonna let my clubs get skipped again so that I wouldn't have another shipment until uh, summer. But I realized that there's a lot of scents that are in my club that I don't have a single bar of in my personal stash. And some of them I do need to get a bar in to really decide if it's something that I'm gonna keep for the long haul. So I did let these two quarterly clubs that I have process through. So we do have them here to share with you. And I will go ahead and put um, scent notes on the screen. Some of them I know by heart and some of them I don't. So I'll try to remember them, but I'll at least have them on the screen for you. Um, so that way you can, can read them that way. Okay. So I do have, like I said, two quarterly clubs. And if you're newer to my channel or newer to Sunsy and you're not sure what a Sunsy club subscription is, I've done multiple videos on my timeline that you can check out. But basically it's a customizable subscription status program for all of Sunsy's consumable products. So you can put in wax bars, pods, light bulbs, cotton cleanups, your cleaning products, your laundry products, what have you. Um, but one of the there's a lot of perks to it, but one of the best perks is the always get my bar perk because you can lock in wax bar fragrances. And as long as you have them in club, then Sensi will continuously make them for as long as you keep that club open. So you can have it monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly. I have it quarterly and I actually have two clubs because I honestly don't know why I have two clubs. I think I was trying to like make it so that like every six months, like these things would come out, but I don't know. It just ended up being a thing and then now I have two. So what happened? Okay, so we'll get right started. I kind of have a hodgepodge of things in my club. Some are really, really old, some are recent. So you've probably already seen fragrance reviews and videos on some of these fragrances most recently. Um, so from our last Bring Back Your Bar that just ended, I do have a toasted apple butter. I do like this one. Um, it kind of gives me a little bit of like cozy chai, but add a whole bunch of like apple butter to it. And it really was good on warm. I want to see how this ages and I'll definitely warm it for next fall. But it was a really good one and really don't have anything like this currently. If apple butter frosting comes back, then this for sure would leave my club and apple butter frosting would take its place. But I have it in my club for now. Toasted caramel sugar. Oh, this one's so good. It's got like a malt note to it. Mmm, really, really good. I love this one. Churro, churro. This one's like fried ice cream, like the churro sticks that you get the fair. It gets stronger as it ages. So like right now it's super light, but give this like a couple of months sitting and it's really, really strong and good. So I have that one. Cashmere leaves. This was in our most recent harvest collection. This is such a good apple woody leave, like all the goodness of fall and it's almost body care. I really wish I could have clubbed the pod form of this fragrance because the pods in cashmere leaves were phenomenal. They lasted in my office an entire month and the fragrance flower lasted like, I think three months. So I hope eventually down the line, they'll allow us to do that. But right now it's just wax bars. Hemingway, this is another good apple woody. This has more smoke to it, more embers. This is like a deep apple wood cologne. Really, really good. Oh, Jack's obsession. I am so happy I have this back in my life. Oh my God, it's so good. This smells like the inside of a McDonald's baked apple pie. It's so good. Mm. Oh, I'm so happy I have that again because I didn't get to warm any of that this fall and I was like crying about it. Okay, maple rum cake. 
This one smells like stale cigars <laughs> while I'm cold, but when it warms, it's a completely different fragrance. It's so good. It lasts for days. It's like another like rich decadent bakery, but it's so good. Cucumber and cactus water. This was originally a spring, uh, not a spring, a summer collection fragrance in 22. And then they returned it last year for the spring brick collection of 23. And now it's officially retired. But to me, it's more floral than it is fresh. It's like a fresh, it's like a floral with fresh vibes. But I get like a powdery, heavy floral note, like a white floral note with this. But I love it in the bathrooms. So there's that one. Peppermint Rush was in our scent of the seasons this year. It was in a Bring Back Your Bar promotion last year. This is just straight peppermint candy canes with creamy vanilla. Oh, it's so good. It opens up your nostrils too. And if you're sick and you have that in your warmers, it will unstuff any stuffed nose. Sugar Plum Berry. This was also in the Scent of the Season collection. I fell in love with this fragrance. I really never had it before. And I know it was an older fragrance, but this to me is like a Christmas tree and a spiced gumdrop mixed together. It's so freaking good. Oh, be fabulous. This is my favorite. Besides coconut lemongrass, this is my favorite citrus scent. It's ruby red grapefruit, limoncello, and musk. I know the scent description by heart. Oh, it's so good. And I love mixing this in alternating warmers with grapefruit sunshine. Awesome combination. Cozy Kitchen. This was in our holiday bricks this year. This to me smells like Quaker, uh, Quaker, Quakers. Yeah, Quakers oatmeal with like brown sugar, like melted uh, brown sugar. Oh, so good. Love Cozy Kitchen. And I've been warming Cozy Kitchen with all of my Christmas tree scents like crazy, especially Black Forest Pine. I mix it in the same warmer at, with Cozy Kitchen and it's really good. Falling Leaves. This was in our most recent Bring Back Your Bar promotion. I was actually surprised how much I did like this after I warmed it. It does smell like a cedar chest and very woody, but it's almost got like that fresh air quality that Painted Leaves has that I really gravitate towards. So I'm glad I put that in my club for now. Oh, let's see, Homestead Holiday. This was also in the scent of the seasons this year. This is so good. It's like a bougie, like craft store scent. It's got like blood orange and fur needles and cinnamon sticks. It's really good. Pumpkin cashmere. This was a scent of the month this year in, was it October or November? October. It's like a body care vanilla. It doesn't really have a body care vanilla, a, a body care pumpkin. It really doesn't have like a bakery pumpkin or a spice at all. It's just like a fresh pumpkin, but think body care. It's really cozy and comforting. Vanilla Barnwood. This was in our holiday collection. This has a tutti fruity note to it that I really, really like. And it's such a great bedroom scent. Very romantic, lasts for days. I think I got like three days one time warming this. It's just a scent that goes and goes and goes and goes. So really glad I have that. Speaking of painted leaves, painted leaves. I do have this one in here. Oh, I love this one. So happy I got this one back. To me, the blue spruce in here is more eucalyptus when it warms. And I love Just Breathe, so that's why I like this one. It's like my fall version of Just Breathe. All right, we got Crumb Top. I don't necessarily like this one, but my mom does. This is a good mixer though. It's it, To me, it almost smells like the, top, the tops of muffins. Like if you just had a basic muffin and you just ate the, the top of it, <laughs> this is what that smells like. I do like mixing crumb top with buckleberry. That's a really great combination in the same warmer, one to one cube. So, you know what would probably be good? Um, What is it? That new release that's in the spring and summer catalog, Berry Sweet, that actually might be good with this crumb top mixed together. Sweet Orange and Evergreen, this was a scent of the month back in 22. It's really good. It's very nostalgic Christmas. It does remind me of a scented um, Christmas book that we had when we were little. There was like a page of the Christmas tree on it and like a gingerbread man and an orange. Well, the Christmas tree one smells like this. So Lush Gardenia, my favorite floral by Sunsea. 
so stinking strong. This thing lasts like four or five days. It literally will like burn your nostril hair. That's how powerful it is. I love it. This club's pretty hefty, you guys. Okay. Fairy tale pumpkin. I love fairy tale pumpkin. Oh, it's so good. I love the licorice note in here. That's what gets me. I think it's got like harvest pumpkin, midnight black raspberry, and then the licorice. It's very interesting, very unique. And I tend to go for those scents. So that's why it's in my club because this will never come back. They brought it back one time in catalog and they didn't bring it back this fall and winter. So this is definitely deader than a doornail. Like it ain't coming back. Cranberry muffin, another bakery one. This one is actually a lot more muffiny than the ones that I had from the Bring Back Your Bar round. I'm really glad I kept this in my club because this one is really good. I actually warmed this, was it last month or the month before my office and it did mature very nicely. Sparkling yellow. Mm, this smells like um, lemon Italian ice to me or like lemon flavored uh, sherbet. That's what that one smells like. And Ruby Nectarine. This is originally a scent of the month in April of 22. I really like it because the Nectarine reads more peach. And then the apple, and I think it's sweet pea that's in here, is really, really nice, so. And then we have a peeling apple, which again has apple, pear, and jasmine. Another great fruity, fruity, fruity floral. I really like that one. Disney's Seasons of Magic. This is a very heavy crystallized sugar uh, Christmas tree. Like heavy, heavy artificial. If you liked uh, icicles and evergreen and didn't club it and you're missing out on it, this is a really good one to get. Warm pumpkin drizzle. This is like a pumpkin flavored pineapple upside down cake. It has pineapple and maraschino cherry and the pumpkin. And I think it's got some type of like icing drizzle or something. Blue Coconut Beach. I was seriously, seriously shocked that this was not in the catalog. This is so good. This is so good. I don't even remember the scent description, but it's so good that I don't even care. Like that's not leaving my club. Aloha Orchid. This had coconut creme, plumeria, pineapple, and something else. To me, this is a more um, strong, fruitier version of hibiscus pineapple. I really, really like that one. And this was a scent of the month in May of 23. Ocean Air and Coconut Water. This was in the summer collection last year. Again, another great fresh coconut scent. Really great for the bathrooms. I was torn between the two and I do mix these two together and warm them separately. So they're both in my club for now. And then perk me up. This is just straight coffee and espresso. Mm, love this one. It's such a good coffee scent. And then for my half price item in this club, I did pick up a brick of sugar cookie. Um, sugar cookie is a really good bakery. It's a great mixer. Um, you can't get it in regular catalog. You can only get it as a brick item when you are when you have a club. Mm, I love sugar cookie and I haven't had this in over a year, so I'm glad to um, get another bar, uh, another brick of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, put all this away, and then bring up my next box. All right, club round two. <laughs> all right, we've got stargazing. I know every time I do an edit, I always say I'm gonna kick this one out. And then I go and warm it and I fall back in love with it. So I don't think I'm ever gonna kick it out, but it's got like white florals and vanilla and like this airiness to it. Some people get bubble gum, some people get Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. I don't, I just get a very lovely, like perfumey body care, vanilla, white floral note. So that's stargazing. And then Southern Evening is heavy, heavy white florals. 
geranium. I think there's like musk in here. Oh, it's so good. It literally does smell like you're walking through a garden at night when it's super humid out and you can smell the dew on the flowers and the dirt. I love it. <laughs> uh, sweet pea and vanilla. This one's not that bad. I know it was very similar to pink apple and nectarine, which was in the spring brick collection last year. I prefer sweet pea and vanilla. It's just a classic scent. And I think because there were so many like body care products in the 90s that had sweet pea in it. I think that's why I like it. Melon apple granita. This literally smells like a fruit salad. It's like all the best parts of a fruit salad. Grape, berries, melon. And it's so bright and happy. I love warming this on like one of the hot, hot days in the summertime because it does have like that coolness um aspect to it. Inner Peace. This is my lemon scented baby powder fragrance. Oh, freaking love it. I know not many people like this one, but I do. And it literally smells like lemon scented baby powder. Oh, let's see. I've got caramel buttercream. This one's not mine. It's my mom's. I prefer salted caramel toffee, but she likes caramel buttercream. And it's all right. I feel like if you like caramel chestnut, but it's too strong for you and salted caramel toffee is too candy like and sickly sweet, then caramel buttercream would be a good like middle of the road um, option for you. Frosted ginger cookie. There is nothing light about this one. Oh, it's so good. It's like a ginger snap cookie with lemon icing on it. Oh, I'm so glad to have this back in my club. Lemon Coconut Chiffon, another lemon heavy bakery that I cannot be without. Oh, this is my favorite bakery. I love this one. It's super strong. It only lasts like a day, but it's like strong from like beginning to end. Like the, the strength on it never, never goes away. Everything Nice. This was in the most recent Bring Back Your Bar. I know, I know, not a lot of people liked it. I love it. It smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. It's so good and so strong and it lasts for a while. Uh, Pima Cotton. This is like my spring summertime laundry scent. Clothesline I'll warm it year round, but sometimes I feel like in the spring and summer it's a little too heavy. So that's when I'll pull out my Pima Cotton. Oh, I love that. This has freesia in it and I really, really like it. Okay, and then we've got breakfast in bed. I know a lot of you are jealous that I have this in my club. I really wish I could have, I, I really wish I could up the quantity on breakfast in bed and like send it to you all because I feel like everybody should experience this bar. Mm, so good. It's like a pumpkin puff pastry with raspberry like preserves or sweet jam oh it's so good black forest pine my favorite christmas tree scent by scentsy this one has like dark balsam and um pepper tangerine and smoky vanilla mm, it's so good it's like a sexy christmas tree so so good and midnight fig <clears throat> this is oh i don't I think i could ever be without this one it's such an earthy saturated fig scent oh it's so good it's perfect for the fall and mandarin moon this is my spiced orange bar this is what i love if you are familiar with tea brands there's a tea brand called celestial seasonings and they have one that's called mandarin orange spice and this is what that smells like so good and then rum raisin cookie this is another strong bakery by Sunsea that they made back in the day. It literally smells like an oatmeal uh, raisin cookie. And then <laughs> I did get a sea salt and avocado brick as my half off item because with a uh, club, if your order is $60 or more, you get a half priced item. And I usually choose bricks or with boxes um, for my half off. But I was um, extremely disappointed in the, sh the status that this thing shipped in. So as you can see, this is broke right here, which is fine. I mean, sometimes it happens, but ready? 
it literally looks like someone like cut it but do you see how it's missing chunks and then it literally looks like someone just like sliced it with a pair of scissors so unfortunately when i emailed customer or consultant support they're like yeah you can send it back and we'll send out a replacement once we receive it i'm like no just forget it i'll cut it up and put it in a bag and be done with it because i feel like now that the lid's broken it's not getting properly sealed back so it might lose some of the fragrance i don't know if that's right or not but it just sucks that it came this way but whatever it's waxed i'll burn through it so these are my clubs these are my two quarterlies as they stand now um as you know i warm things my preferences might change new scents might come out that will kick some of these out you never know but i hope you guys enjoyed my call um and if you've got a club coming out what's your like favorite like absolute favorite scent that's in your club that you can never be without like if sensei told you you had to pick one scent in your entire club and that was the only one that you could have what would it be just curious i think mine would be oh god that's hard i think it would be the lemon coconut chiffon i don't think i could ever be without this one that's so good oh so good so all right thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and i will talk to you in my next video bye guys